A New Mexico Pueblo is going against the norm and using genetic testing, looking to answer questions about their history. The results show they have ties to Chaco Canyon going back hundreds of years. News 13's Jessica Barron explains what else they're hoping to discover. It's um, what we always talked about, what was passed on through generations, through our forefathers, our elders, I mean, that we had that connection. Governor Wayne Yanza Jr. of the Picaris Pueblo says they always knew they had ties to Chaco Canyon, but didn't have the hard evidence to prove it. When non-Pueblo parties started conversations such as drilling in the area, Picaris leaders say they felt left out. Chaco Canyon was being mined and um, or drilled and um, being um, basically in a position to where we could lose it. That's when leaders decided they could use genetic testing to trace their DNA back to the site, hoping to get a say on the land. They partnered with a scientist in Denmark and a professor at Southern Methodist University. There are controversial aspects with this. Not everybody agrees with doing ancient DNA, but Pickery's, uh knows its identity. They know they've been there for um, over 1,100 years, and um, they know that uh, they would like to know more. The Picaris Pueblo has a population of about 300 people. The lieutenant governor says having this genetic data would also open opportunities for them to learn about their medical history and tailor medicine to their genetic makeup. Looking like in the world of um, legally, you know what I mean? There's all these disputes, like you said, well, land, whether it be land, you know what I mean? Um, sacred sites, you know what I mean? Historical monuments. I mean, it all it all ties into to get the end of the day, but... Having this, you know what I mean, this um, DNA, it, it's a game changer. I guess that's what I look at it. I mean, it's, um, like I said, a tool I mean, that we could use to our advantage. Pickery's leaders say they hope this will open the door for future productive conversations surrounding Chaco. End of the day, it's just um, protecting Chaco. You know what I mean, again, that was the big thing of chasing it and um, letting them know, you know I mean, that that's a place, a sacred place to all tribes. Jessica Barron, Caracuy News 13. The data collected is also completely controlled by the Pueblo, meaning if any researchers wanted access in the future, they would need to get their permission.